Excuse me? Can I get this in a size extra large? <sighs> um, this leotard is for ballet dancers, so I don't think you want it. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm a dancer. I've been dancing since I was five and a half. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, you're serious. <clears throat> you're a ballet dancer. Yeah, why? Is there something wrong with that? I've just never seen anyone do ballet before who's your... Never mind. <laughs> you know, I don't actually think that we carry that size for this Leo, but I guess I'll just go check. Hey, we better get going or you're gonna be late for tryouts. Sweetheart, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just waiting on the size. Time to take your medicine. Oh, here we are. I'll pick you up in a few hours. Lizzie, you gonna be okay? Aunt Linda, do you really think I can make it as a ballet dancer? You know, being my size and all? What do I always tell you? You can be anything you want to be in life, as long as you work hard for it. You're right. Thanks for the reminder. I should be done in an hour, so just come back then. Good luck. Excuse me? Do you have an idea when we'll start? Start what? These are the tryouts for the Nutcracker, right? Yeah, but extras don't start auditioning until next week. Oh, I'm actually here for the main part. Uh, you know, for Clara? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me get this straight. You want to be Clara? <laughs> hey, everyone. Listen to this. What's your name, honey? Lizzie. <laughs> Lizzie here wants to be Clara. <laughs> I, I don't understand what's so funny. Look, you seem nice, so I'm gonna help you out. You need to be skinny if you want to dance ballet, especially for a main role. I suggest you lose some weight. Good morning, everyone. I assume everyone is here to try out for Clara. I'll be choosing by the end of the day. Any questions before we get started? I've got one. For those who don't get cast as Clara, can they still try out for another part? Like, I don't know, being a horse or something? Yes, I suppose. Great. So in other words, Lizzie here still has a shot? <laughs> <laughs> I suggest you focus on yourself and not anyone else, or you may be the one who ends up as the horse. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Oh, I almost forgot. Whoever gets chosen as Clara is going to get to photograph with my friend, Jordan Matter. What? No way. He photographs all the best dancers. I can't believe it. That'd be amazing. I wouldn't get too excited. She said Clara gets to photograph, not the horse. Six, seven, eight. First and two, second, two, fifth, two, three, and four. Very nice. OK, this is for turnout. Starting in first, passe, tendu front plie, lifting and rotating up, and lower to the back passe, tendu back plie, lifting and rotating 90 degrees, and lower. All right, let's see you all do it. Five, six, seven, eight. Tendu plie lift, very nice. Keeping the arm rounded in seconds. You're supposed to lengthen out 90 degrees, like this. I think I got it. <laughs> sure you do. Do you mind if I ask you a question? What's up? Why'd you choose ballet? Well, ever since I can remember, I wanted to be a dancer. I saw the Nutcracker when I was a little girl, and I dreamt of being Clara. The way the What I meant was, why not try something more for people your size? Like football, or, I don't know, 
sumo wrestling. <laughs> all right. How's it going over here? Good. I mean, this is all pretty basic stuff. <laughs> Very nice form. How's it going with you, Lizzie? Fine. Just a little tired. Yeah, you know, maybe we all need to take a break. Or maybe you need to lose 50 pounds. Then you wouldn't be so tired. All right, let's all take a 10 minute break and then we're gonna transition into solos. I'm ready now. I don't need a break. Oh, okay. Um, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, we can start with anything you'd like. Sounds good. I'll do pirouettes. Oh, very impressive. Nice. Thanks. Okay, who would like to go next? Oh, whoops. Sorry. Lizzie, would you like to go next? No, I don't think. Yeah, you should go, Lizzie. I mean, you do want to be Clara, don't you? Yeah, but great. Come on up. Are you okay? Uh. She probably has a toe cramp. Oh, those aren't fun. Just stretch it out and it'll go away. Hey, Lizzie. We can start with any routine you'd like. Do the forte. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I can't even do a forte. There's no way Lizzie can. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Lizzie. Oh no. Lizzie! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Lizzie, are you okay? I'm fine. I just, I just don't know how I fell. I'll tell you how. It's because plus size girls don't belong in ballet. Hey, you don't talk to her like that. I'm just saying, maybe she should focus on losing weight first. That was completely inappropriate. Lizzie, where are you going? This was a huge mistake. I knew I shouldn't have come here. I can't believe how you treated her. You have no idea what she has been through. You better shape up, otherwise you're gonna be disqualified entirely. I don't care how good you are. Sorry for being honest. Okay, who wants to go next? Lizzie? Lizzie, listen to me. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I can't help being the size that I am. It's not my fault I have to take- No, honey, you don't have to explain that to me. I thought I could lose weight by dancing, but even when I try that, people still make fun of me. I can't win. Sweetheart, just because one ignorant girl makes some comments, it doesn't mean you should give up on your dreams. It's not just her. It's the woman at the store. It's strangers and how they look at me. I get judged everywhere I go. We can talk about that more when tryouts are over. I don't want you to miss your chance to be Clara. What do you say? You get back in there and try again? No, I don't want to go back in there. I just want to stay in my room forever. Lizzie rushes inside of the car after deciding she's not gonna dance anymore. When Lizzie and her Aunt Linda get home, Lizzie runs off to her room crying. The aunt doesn't know what to do. After thinking about it some more, the aunt decides that she's not gonna keep quiet. So she makes a video about what happened with Lizzie. So, my 16-year-old niece just came home crying from the DM Dance Academy. Why? Because a dancer told her she was too big to do ballet. What makes this even more painful is just knowing everything poor Lizzie has had to go through. 
You see, Lizzie had a very tough childhood. Within a few months of being born, her dad decided to walk out on her and her mom. So she grew up without a father. And her mom, well, it's not even easy for me to say, but her mom, she passed away from a car accident when Lizzie was just five years old. It was one of the hardest days of our lives. So, that's how Lizzie came to live with me. And then, as if things couldn't get any worse, one day at the hospital, Lizzie was getting a checkup and a doctor came in and told us that she had pseudotumor cerebri which means she has extra spinal fluid around her brain. It gives her really bad headaches and it causes her to lose her vision. And to top it off, it requires her to take medication that makes her gain weight. So you see, the reason that Lizzie is the size that she is she can't even help it. I got her into dance to distract her from all the trauma that she'd been through and, and as a way to help her exercise. But now she feels like she can't even do that. This poor girl, she's already been through so much and getting made fun of today, that was the last thing she needed. So please, for the love of God, let's be kind to each other because you never know. You never know what somebody's going through. The aunt finishes recording her emotional video and decides to post it online. She uploads it onto YouTube, not really knowing what was going to happen. Before long, the video ends up taking off. It gets millions of views within just a short time. Aunt Linda couldn't believe it. She brings Lizzie over to show her what happened. Sit down. Take a look. Oh my gosh, that's so many views. I hope this shows you there's so many people out there supporting you, so you shouldn't give up on your dreams. But tryouts for Claire are already over. I saw on Instagram the mean girl who bullied me ended up getting it. <sighs> okay, well, you know, there's always next year. And if you start practicing now, there's no doubt you'll get it. Maybe you're right. What are the comments saying? Oh, I don't know, I haven't read them. <laughs> Don Duncan said, it's true. She's way too big to dance. Uh, yeah, don't pay attention to that one. It's just one comment. Just read the next one. Katrina said, being that size and walking into tryouts must have been so humiliating, I would have died. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with people? Jake102 said, I bet when she steps on a scale, it says to be continued. Is this what you called me over here for? To make me feel even worse about myself? No, no, of course not. I am so sorry, Lizzie. I had no idea the comments were going to be so mean. Don't pay any attention to them whatsoever, okay? Um, I'll be right back. Hi, can I? Hi, I'm Jordan Matter. 
Oh, I know who you are. You're Lizzie's favorite photographer. She talks about you all the time. That's awesome. Well, please, come in. Oh, thank you so much. So, what are you doing here? Uh, I saw the video that you posted online about Lizzie, and I know the instructor at the academy, so I asked her how I could find you. I hope you don't mind me stopping by like this. Not at all. <laughs> Jordan? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's you. Lizzie, it is so great to meet you. Listen, I'm just so sorry for what you've been through. It's okay, thanks. And I, I read some of the comments, and gosh, people can be just so mean. I hope you don't listen to any of it. You'd think for as long as I've been getting them, I'd be used to it by now, but they still hurt. That's why I just decided to give up on dancing. What? No, no, you can't quit. But I fell in front of everyone at tryouts. It was so embarrassing. Look, the greatest dancers in the world fall down. That doesn't stop them from getting back up again. You shouldn't let that stop you either. Professional dancers fall too? Yeah, all the time. So, do you really think I can be a ballerina? You know, given... Look, if there's one thing I know for sure, it's that you can be anything you want to be in life, as long as you work hard for it. Uh, that's what I always say. I agree 100%. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. So is that why you came here? To remind me not to give up? Oh, well, yeah, but not just that. I also kind of hope you want to shoot with me. What? Are you serious? You want to photograph me? It would be my honor. I'd love to. <laughs> Lizzie is so excited, not believing she is about to photograph with her idol. The next day, Jordan takes Lizzie out to some iconic locations to photograph her. After she takes one look at the photos, she gets more inspired than ever to go after her dream again. Jordan even introduces Lizzie to a new dance instructor. The new teacher agrees to help Lizzie practice her dance ballet moves even more. And as time goes on, Lizzie becomes an even better dancer. But more importantly, she builds more confidence than she ever has had before. Lizzie is finally ready to go after her dream again. Incredible. Great job. Thanks. So does that mean I get to be Clara again this year? Well, is there anyone who hasn't gone yet? Okay. Thank you all for coming out. But like last year, I'm going to choose... Wait! Lizzie, what are you doing here? I'm so sorry I'm late. I was hoping to try out for Clara if the decision hasn't been made already. Uh, sorry, but I already got the part. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Lizzie, if you want to try out, you still can. You can't be serious. She showed up late, that's not fair. Are you scared that Lizzie's gonna be a better dancer than you are? <laughs> yeah, right. If she wants to embarrass herself again, so be it. Hey, don't be nervous. You got this. What will you be performing for us today? I'd like to do the forte. <laughs> so she can fall again like last time? This should be fun to watch. <laughs> Stop. Whenever you're ready, Lizzie. Congratulations, Lizzie. It's obvious after that performance that you should be Clara in this year's ballet. What? This is ridiculous. I'm so proud of you. I love you. I love you too. Hi. 
Hi, can I? Uh, wait, are you the guy who takes all of the pictures of those dancers? Yeah, I am. I absolutely love your work. I see it all over Instagram and YouTube. Thank and... you. Have you seen my latest? It's incredible. Wait, why does that girl look so familiar? Lizzie! Hey. You're that girl who bought the leotard from me a long time ago. And now you're featured in an article. Wow, I guess you really are a ballet dancer. Yep. Now if you wouldn't mind getting us this in an extra large. Of course. <sighs> right away. So I had a video go viral in January of me doing fuetes. And I posted it in November of last year just because I wanted to and I didn't think anything of it. And then in January it went viral and I have about 20 million views on Facebook, I think. <laughs> When the video went viral, all the followers kind of came at once. So that's when a lot of the hate comments came. They don't know me, they don't know anything, they just see a picture and they're judging me based off of one picture or one video. You don't know like my story. So I don't think it's right for people to judge off of one thing. I was told to stop dancing maybe when I was 12, I'm now 16. Um, I was told there wasn't gonna be any parts for me in Nutcracker if I didn't lose weight or go on point, so that bothered me a lot because it was something that I wanted to do forever. If I'm a good dancer, I don't think my body type should affect my opportunities. So I have pseudotumor cerebri, which is an excess buildup of spinal fluid around my brain, so I could go blind if it isn't under control. Dance is what I love and it's everything to me, so I think that just keeps me going. I've been bullied in dance since I was like six. It still happens when I go to dance conventions because there's like 300 people in one room and they're all looking at me. And so, you know, I don't hear it directly what they're saying, but I can see like the and all that stuff. I had one girl at a dance convention step, deliberately step on my foot with a tap shoe. And so I missed the rest of the day because it really bothered me that she did that. But I went the next day and I did the audition and I got a scholarship. So it's those things that like keep me going is the reassurance from other people. My aunt is my biggest supporter. I've been living with her since I was six. Um, I moved in with her when my mom died in a car accident. And that's when I started dance actually. So she's always pushed me forward and made me go to things even if I was too scared to go to them, which is a good thing because I would have missed out on a lot of things if I didn't listen to her. Because most dancers are skinny and I'm not. So I think people can relate to me in that sort of way. So they see me as an inspiration because I've been told to quit dance multiple times and I haven't. So I think people relate to that when they want to do something. They don't want other people telling them not to do it and so that's happened to me a lot. One time I was in the hospital and I had an audition for a scholarship the next day and I got in trouble because I stood up and I started trying to do my solo and I wasn't supposed to, but I still did and I actually won a scholarship for being inspirational. So if I'm having a good day or a bad day, I can usually go to dance and it would cheer me up or make me more happy. So it's like therapy, I guess. <laughs> so if I didn't have it, I don't know how I would be. Whatever you say on social media is going to be seen by somebody and it could hurt their feelings. You know, you can't just say something that you think's funny, but it might affect somebody else's feelings. I'm a very sensitive person, so I take everything to heart. There's a bunch of people that are like me that take it the same way. It was never really my goal to become a role model, but now that I am, I'm kind of glad that I am because I'm helping other people face their issues that I've had to face as well, so. I had one lady, she's an older woman, and she messaged me on Instagram and said um, she was a dancer when she was younger, but she quit because of what other people had told her, and she just started taking adult ballet classes again because of me, so that was really good and made me happy, so. Dancing more and dancing with people that are accepting of me and nice to me has made me grow more. 
if you love what you do, you shouldn't let people get in the way of that. Hey, Darman fam. I hope you love this video. I'm gonna let my friends Jordan Matter and Lizzie tell you what it's about. I'm really excited to share my story. I've been through quite a lot of things, so I'm hoping it inspires some people. And it's my first acting gig, so I'm really <laughs> thankful for that. I've um, never done this before, so. You did amazing, though. We'll start there. I mean, <laughs> anybody that's watching this right now, having just seen that video, hearing it's your first time, is I think their mind is blown. <laughs> this, this video is so beautiful because it really grabs Liz Lizzie's life story. I've known her for three years, and it does it in a way that inspires everybody. Just remember, Go after your dreams. Don't let anybody discourage you. Don't listen to the haters. That, that's really, you know, that's your story. That's your story. That's the story of almost every successful person. I love that. And speaking of pursuing dreams, I heard that you're pursuing your dreams of moving to Los Angeles. Is that right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so if you guys want to help Lizzie move to Los Angeles and pursue her dreams of acting and dancing and so many other things, Lizzie's actually started a GoFundMe. You guys can find that link down in the description. Please, please, let's all work together to help Lizzie achieve those dreams. And I think you've actually got a video on your channel that talks about the whole journey she's been through. Yes, the, Lizzie's journey and moving to LA and meeting Dar for the first time, all of it is in a video I just released and the link is in the description. Yep, we'll put that down in the description too. Thank you guys so much for watching and please remember, we're not just telling stories, we are changing lives. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.